All right, hello and welcome. If you are new here, I just wanna say my voice isn't typically this deep. I did lose my voice last week and I'm still in the process of regaining it. If you missed Thursday's upload, I feel like I sound worse in that video. So we're trending in the right direction. It's just taking a while. So I'm sorry if my voice just sounds a little off, but I am here and we're gonna do another Will I Buy It? Talking about new makeup releases. I got my coffee. We got a lot of products to talk about and yeah, if you're new around here, I sit down every week on a Saturday and we go over new makeup releases that caught my eye from the past week. Typically, they're indie makeup releases and I chit chat with you guys what I think about the release, if I plan to pick it up, all that sort of thing. I gotta remember, I need to talk a little bit more subdued and slower because I feel like that helps me sound a little bit more normal and not so deep and like crackly in my voice. So trying to remind myself that and everyone who tells me that I need to slow down when I talk, Hopefully this video is a bit better paced for you. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna scoot over and we can get going talking about new makeup releases. All right, first up is from Doodles by The Bunny. She is collaborating with a brand on her own palette and she's been giving little sneak peeks recently. And I am so excited because she hasn't shared like the brand or what the palette is or anything, but this is the most we've gotten. It looks like it's green eyeshadow. I am excited. I cannot wait to see Doodles by the Bundy. If you've never seen one of my duping a fake palette, I've duped a lot of her fake palettes that she has created over the years and they are always just so very beautiful and lovely. So I can't wait to see what type of palette she puts together with the brand. I'm so very happy for you, Angela. I'm, like I said, just so excited she got this opportunity because she creates the most gorgeous, not only color stories, but her palette designs are also very beautiful. So I have no more information currently. If I have anything, I'll stick it you know, over the top of what I'm showing you now because at the time when we filmed this all she says coming soon we don't know anything besides that but hopefully soon in the next couple days we can talk about it but I was so excited I had to mention it in this week's video I feel like it's been forever since we've seen something new from them but Beauty Bakery is launching a new palette and this is a sweet potato pie first off the theme of the palette absolutely cute love the sweet potato pie I think that's adorable and then looking at the palette itself $14 it looks like there's something else behind it there I see that, but I don't think I know what that looks like. Yeah, this is all they show, the sweet potato pie and more. Okay, this is their bite-sized line sold exclusively at Target and CVS stores, $14 each. We're going to have to see more. I'm curious to see what the palette is behind. It looks like it's neutral, but it also looks like a minty blue, like maybe minty icy kind of wintry vibes. I might be into that. But the sweet potato pie, while I think it's pretty, I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not really into that color story as much now. I have a lot of it. And it's just easy for me to say no. So in this time of my life where I just, I got a ton of products to go through, if I can say no, then I, I need to say no. So while I think this is cute, I'm excited they're coming out with something. I love that there's a green in the corner. I will be saying no for this one. Okay, so Clarity Cosmetics has been teasing some launches that they're gonna be doing on Black Friday. And here are two of the new recent ones. This one at the bottom, I believe is just called Melanin. And I don't think I know the, oh, Magic Lamp. I didn't know the name of the top one before, Magic Lamp. So the top palette is Magic Lamp, bottom palette. This is what the palette looks like. And then this is the swatches and it's called Melanin. I don't think we know have swatches of the top palette, uh, what Magic Lamp, because it was just like kind of a sneak peek. There are a lot of shimmers in this and doesn't seem to be a whole lot of mattes from what I can tell from this picture. So I feel like while I like the color story, I like that there's so much color and differing hues. You got some really light, some really dark. It almost looks like these might be like the yellow. Is that like a matte with sparkle in it? I don't know, I like the color story, but when we actually like, I zoom in on the finishes, matte, shimmer, that sort of thing, I feel like that's where this palette, the Magic Lamp is kind of like, it's pretty, but I'm not tempted to buy it. I think it's a fun array of colors, but not enough mattes to tempt me, not enough colorful mattes to tempt me, so I don't plan to pick this one up. And then the Melanin one, I think it's pretty. It looks gorgeous, like such deep tones. That's gonna be so beautiful, especially for winter and whatnot. I th I'm kind of tempted. Curry, that Curry shadow is just, looks amazing, um, but I don't have plans to pick it up just because I'm trying to say no where I can. And while I think this palette is very pretty, it is just, not just a neutral palette, but it is more of a neutral palette. I do appreciate this type of neutral palette over, I feel like the typical Urban Decay Naked type of neutral palette. I'm not into those at all. This is a neutral palette that I would be into, but as I said, if I can say no, I'm trying to say no right now, so I am going to pass on this, but two launches from her that I think are really, they look really nice. I'm sure they're going to create some gorgeous looks. So Glaminatrix finally showed the inside of their palette. I talked about this in a previous Will I Buy It, but it was just a prototype, so we have an actual palette. Here's what it looks like. I think it's very pretty, 
but my opinions on it doesn't really change from the last time I talked about it. I think it's beautiful, but I am going to be passing on it. Oh, here's swatches. Um, I do plan to pass on it just because this is going to be the mantra of the whole video. I like it, but if I can talk myself out of it, I am going to talk myself out of it. And while I, like I said, I like this palette, it does give more of that kind of like colorful neutral vibes to it, which I like in a neutral palette, but I'm going to just focus on what I have here. I've mentioned before Glaminatrix uh, shipping is kind of expensive for me in the U.S., so it does kind of also, you know, help me say no to it or just talk myself out of it. So I think they did a great job with the color story. I know their formula is very, very nice. Uh, I have reviewed one of their palettes in the past, but as much as I think this is a gorgeous color story, especially as we go into Christmas and the holidays, I am going to be saying that. Okay, big news of today that I noticed when I woke up, Tati Beauty is closing. Now, Tati did release a video on her channel and I watched it. And it, it didn't really say, like give any tea or just give, give any reasons. I do know she has been in a lot of legal trouble in the past because a previous business partner was suing Tati Beauty. I'm not very knowledgeable, obviously, in everything that happened. Um, I don't follow Tati anymore. I just haven't been into her content for years. So it doesn't really affect me much, but I was curious, so I did watch her video. And like I said, she didn't really spill any tea. Just said, basically, we have to close, so we're closing, and we're closed. That was it. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to assume that through the legal battle, either, you know, money-wise, she's not able to continue, or maybe she had to close down because of legal reasons and whatnot. I have no idea, but Tati Beauty is no longer. They're closing down. I, do they even have any, like, final sale? I don't think so, but... Yeah, kind of sad way to see a brand come to an end, but I'll be curious to see what else Tati ventures into now that she's back on YouTube and, you know, kind of getting back into what appears to me just looking at her channel, um, you know, just kind of reviewing the makeup, which is where she all started from. So let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, I never tried anything from her brand and I am not like a fan of hers. I am not subscribed to her, so it doesn't affect me too much, but I know a lot of people really do enjoy your content. So let me know how this news affects you. Leave it down in the comments below. Lawless Cosmetics is launching the new their new holiday collection and what is this palette called? The Mini Glam One Eyeshadow. I keep looking at Lawless because for some reason the brand intrigues me. Something about the aesthetic and whatnot, I'm always kind of pulled towards like, oh, what is Lawless launching now? But their palettes are always just so bo boring for me. I know not everyone thinks it's boring, but when I look at this palette, I'm just like, those three like beigey tones literally would all look the same and the two shimmers one's a little bit more of a golden one's a little bit more of a pinky type of champagne -y color I don't know I'm waiting to see something interesting from her brand and I still haven't yet the swatches look fun I guess but yeah I wasn't really into that and then the lip glosses or lip oils whatever they are lip plumpers not into either so overall nope it's another no for me for lawless not gonna try it Okay, big news from this week is that Melt Cosmetics is dropping their holiday collection and they typically, I feel like in the past, they done it a little closer to Halloween or maybe it's always been in the beginning of November I'm not really sure but they finally showed the full details of everything that's going to be included in this new collection which I am not going to try to pronounce because especially with this voice I will butcher it and just make it sound horrible but it's all about butterflies and I like butterflies so I was like okay maybe I'll try this collection. We have lipsticks easy pass for me. I'm just not really in, into lipsticks right now. I'm just, I don't know. I just throw on whatever I have and I'm good. I'm not like tempted or curious to try. Brushes, honestly, the brushes tempt me. I wish that instead of the heart, there was a different way to incorporate the butterflies into the handle or even just like um, etching of like a butterfly pattern all throughout the ferrule. Then I think I would have been buying this, but because it's just like a chunky heart thing on there with the butterfly inside the heart, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. It just cheapens it a little bit in my eyes, and this is just me personally. Maybe everyone loves, everyone else loves this because looking at these brushes, like the red and the gold, gorgeous, and then the blending brushes. There's a flat brush. It looks like brushes I would have used. Maybe not the two face brushes, but definitely those four eyeshadow brushes I would have been into. But I don't like the heart with the uh, butterfly inside. Lip liners. I I think they're lip liners. Yeah, easy easy pass for me. The palette. Let's talk about the palette because I don't even know what I think about this palette. Because when I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's a neat color story. That's like colorful, pretty. It's got green in there. I'm a happy camper, right? But every time I look at the palette, I'm just kind of like, eh, no, I don't need it. So I'm not going to be getting it because I don't look at this and just think like, oh, I really want to try that. I really want to get it. I feel like this gives me like serious vibes of the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. Maybe it's simply because it has the green and the more browns with the reds tones in there and a little bit like blue green. Maybe that's why I think so much when I see this swatch of the Wilderness palette, but I'm just not really inclined. Nothing in me is pulling me to get it, so I don't even know I'm not going to get it. Also, the packaging, 
I like the butterflies, but I, the heart, I don't know. I'm not into like actually having a visual like heart with the little valves. I don't even know what it's called. Yes, my husband's a doctor, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything when it comes to like medical speak. But anyway, I'm not really into the whole heart. I think it's uh, for being a literal heart on the palette packaging. I think they did it really pretty. I don't really get the... Is that hummingbirds? Oh, I thought it was thorns around the heart or something. Because the way they were all poking out. But zooming in, those are hummingbirds. It's interesting, but not for me. So, yeah, I'm not getting anything from the collection. I think the design of the whole collection is really pretty. But when I actually focus in on each individual thing, nothing really stands out. So, yeah, overall, while I kind of want to be into this collection, I really am not. So, I'm not picking anything up. Let me know your thoughts down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this palette and the whole collection, the collection as a whole. Nabla came out with blush duos. I think they're cream, are they? I honestly don't even know. I honestly, I'm not a cream or I'm not a blush person. You guys know this. So for me, I saw it and it was an easy pass. The only thing I will say though, they did the packaging really nice because I like the kind of um, wavy Packaging, I don't know, is very pretty. It's very eye-catching. Every time I've been scrolling on Instagram this past week, anytime I scroll past this, I'm always just like, oh, that's pretty, but... I'm gonna be passing. Makeup Revolution also launched some new palettes. I don't understand what is it with like milk and cow inspired palettes that are like black and white that end up with these like pastel looking color stories because Made by Mitchell just did a milk collection or cow collection or something like that. The packaging and everything was like black and white and then inside was like maybe not pastels maybe I'm misremembering it but I remember being a lot of color and I was just like that doesn't make me think of milk. Like, I'm a little confused. I don't know. It's just a pastel palette. It's an easy pass. And then the other one's just a neutral palette. So, yeah, not into either one of them. And knowing Makeup Revolution's formula, those pastels are going to be very, very faint. And you guys know me. If I'm going to use pastels, I want them to be super duper vibrant. So this caught my eye. She Glam launched a new collection. This is the Chroma Zone collection. But look at these palettes. Let me see if there's a close-up. Yeah, look at this. This one is like a grungy... And I wonder if this shade right here with the uh, like star impression in it is like a duochrome. Looks so pretty. Let's see. Ooh, it's that shade right there. That looks really pretty. And then there's this one, um, which this looks pretty too, but just doesn't draw me in as much. It's a clear lid, which I'm not really a fan for packaging wise. That looks like a pretty highlighter. What are those? Toppers? I'm not really into like a liquid toppers. Uh, nail polish? No, no, no. So it's really only that first palette we talked about that I'm super... I, my eyes are just drawn to this. This is a really pretty color story. Makes me think of a lot of little palettes that I've already had and already tried. Though I will say this shade right there, that kind of duochrome one that I was talking about, really does lend something unique to this palette. It still intrigues me, and I'm sure it's not that much money. How much? Uh, $6.50. Shade Glam is always like turning my head with their palettes for whatever reason. I don't love that it's like a clear plastic cover. I feel like they could have done something, I don't know, prettier with it for whatever reason. That's just me, maybe. You can let me know what you think down below, but I'm tempted. I don't plan to pick it up, but I do like the color story and the swatches that I see. Natasha Denona came out with face palettes, two of them, a light and dark, I'm assuming. I don't even know if they have a name, but two different formulas. It's an easy pass for me. I like the setup for simplicity wise of being like, here's your eyeshadows and here's your face products and the creams are covered. I definitely think that's smart when it comes to having cream and powder products mixed up to have a little flat or plastic cover, clear cover over it to protect it from the powders. But you guys know me, this doesn't intrigue me at all. So it's an easy pass. I didn't even stop to look at the price or details or anything because I was just like, oh, okay. Moving on. ELF launched their holiday collection. This is the Snow Much Fun 24 Day Advent Calendar. That's kind of fun. Um, I've never really tried an advent calendar before. I don't know. Never tried it. Okay, so I think they're just normal products that they sell. Some of them look like they might be like snow or winter themed. This little quad or duo in the middle almost looks like a snowflake, but I don't think so. It's just an advent calendar. It's an easy pass for me. I think maybe if you were brand new to ELF or you were wanting to try a bunch of ELF products, this would be a neat way to go because it looks like you get a nice variety, but as someone who's tried them a bunch and not really looking to try them, nah, I'm passing. House Labs launched a new collection, and this is the Casa Gaga, the limited edition capsule collection of new Lux formulas inspired by Italian glamour. I mean, I think they did the packaging very, like, high-end looking for whatever reason. I think the gold and the white looks very, like, high-end and classy. I think that's very pretty. That's a big ol' fluffy brush. Is that for the highlighter, I guess? I'm assuming that's not for, like, eyeshadow. Well, there's no eyeshadow in here, so it's got to be for the highlighter. I think the highlighter is the prettiest thing, and that's even pretty simple, in my opinion. Like, the, while the impressions that are in there are very pretty, 
we've seen a lot more pretty impressions in highlighters in recent months so it's just like oh yeah that's all nice it all looks nice nothing wrong with it but nothing that draws my attention in so I'm not planning to pick anything up but let me know are you at all interested in house labs or this collection I have yet to try house labs because they haven't really launched anything that I've just been like yes I want to try that oh yeah BH Cosmetics launched their new palette every single month for this year they've been launching a new palette the first of the month so for November it was the Citrine Birthstone palette $9 I was very, very tempted because you guys know I love a good like yellow orange kind of color story. This is more yellow brown. However, looking at the swatches, it does look very promising. I think that this shade over here is always a pressed glitter, though it's a very fine pressed glitter if I remember correctly. I wish they didn't have pressed glitters and that was just a really intense like sparkly metallic. I think that would be really pretty and tempt me a little bit more to get this but as I see, you guys know from me personally, I kind of always zero in on the mattes and there's a dark brown a medium brown and a yellow for mattes and that's it. So that's where I was kind of like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I just kind of talked myself out of it. Like I said, I think it's really pretty. That look, I love a bright yellow look. I think that's absolutely gorgeous though. There's, what's the green? Wait, hang on. It, does this kind of shift green, the, the glitter? I guess the glitter shifts a little green, but that's like a mint green. Anyway, I think the looks are very, very pretty, but I talked myself out of it. I had so many other palettes I was wanting to focus on. I was waiting for the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette to come out when this launched, so I talked myself out of it and I am going to pass, but I do think it's pretty. So Rue Cosmetics launched a new collection. This is the EDM collection and six monochromatic palettes. You have a purple, you have a pink, an orange, a yellow, a blue, and a green. My first impressions was looking at the green, I felt like it was a little too monochromatic. Like I wish one of the mattes was like a really deep color to really give it a lot of variation. Kind of like with the blue over here, even though it is a shimmer, the dark there is like a really dark shade of blue and then a really light shade of blue. I like that kind of variance and that, you know, difference in tone in monochromatic palettes. The green is just kind of like all monotone or very light, as is the orange brown. Um, the pink is pretty, also kind of monotoned. The yellow, I just feel like that would look so very light and pastel on me. So really the only ones that catch my eye for like color tone altogether is the blue and the purple. And I'm not really looking to try any right now, so it's going to be a pass for me, but I do think it's a pretty collection. So Beauty Bay launched some new palettes. This is the, their Disney Madness collection. I could have sworn we talked about this already, and I passed by this, so, like, post about these new palettes so many times because I was like, oh yeah, we already saw them. But these are new ones if, I, and if I'm reading it correctly because the first one was, like, Jungle Book, and I forget what the other one, but I knew one was Jungle Book, and neither one of these are Jungle Books. So these are new ones in that collection right? You guys can answer me in the comments below because I, I was very confused. This one is an easy pass for me. I just feel like it's so very light, especially like look at these two. The two on the left and the bottom literally look the same. It's an easy pass. Um, this other one, like the Mad Hatter one, also the two blues just look the same. I don't know. I, I get a little annoyed when small palettes have two shades that are, like could be interchangeable because they're so close and it's just like it's such a waste in my book. So I think there's a part about the color stories that I like, but as a whole, it's an easy pass. I'm not tempted at all, honestly. I couldn't believe this. Menagerie Cosmetics launched their new highlighters and I totally missed the launch. Just totally blanked on it. I didn't set an alarm. I was on it 30 minutes beforehand and I was like, oh, I'll do it 30 minutes. I don't need a set alarm. I'll be fine. And then I got caught up doing something. And the next thing you know, it was two hours later. And of course it was sold out. So I didn't get these. Maybe I'll pick them up at some point in the future whenever I make a purchase in the future, but I really wanted to try these two. They looked really pretty, especially that green gold. I know I'm so predictable, but that one really did catch my eye. But honestly, I kind of just wanted this really cute polar bear. Like that's, that's cute, adorable. I love the little flowers in its ear. Very, very pretty. ColourPop launched something. I noticed this afterwards, but I don't think ColourPop launched anything last week, or at least I didn't talk about anything from ColourPop last week. I couldn't believe it. I was like, afterwards, uh, uh, you know, a couple days ago when this launched, I was like, oh yeah, wait, ColourPop hasn't launched anything in a while. Anyway, they, they fixed that. They launched the Le Quartz collection, I think it's called. No, Of Course. Of Quartz. Of Quartz collection. I am not very good on playing words because I always mess it up, but there you go. This is the collection. Very cool toned. Um, that palette right there looks very different from that palette right there. So I'm wondering how cool toned it is because one looks very cool toned and one looks a little bit more saturated in color. Regardless, you know, this isn't a color story that I'm often into, so it's going to be a pass for me. But a big old collection with glitters and pressed glitters and eye pencils looks like too. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. It's all a pass. Rose and Ben Beauty finally announced their launch of their brand and oh my goodness, I am so very tempted to pick them up. However, 
they are not, you know, drugstore prices. They're definitely expensive. So I am holding off and I do plan to pick it up, but just I didn't want to do it yet. I'm going to just wait around and see. I'm swamped with reviewing stuff anyway. I almost placed an order the day they launched, but I was like, why are you paying full price for something that you can't really get to right now? Why don't you just wait a bit, wait for a sale, then you can pick it up and maybe it'll be at a better time for you to focus and try them. So I didn't pick anything up, but I definitely do plan to. I want to pick up the eye brushes, like the slanted one. There's this uh, little flat one and there was, a, oh, this one, this is, it's a little fan eye brush. I want to try that one too. So I think those are the three that I was kind of zeroing in on that I want to try. I like the shape of this brush. It's kind of like a cheek contour brush, but I have one very similar to it from Milani. So I don't need another one like that. So I think I'm just going to focus on the eyeshadow brushes, but super excited for her. I'm sure they're going to be amazing quality. She like uses and enjoys a lot of very high end brushes. So I'm expecting great things from her brush brand and her brush collection, but yeah. Huge congratulations to her, and I can't wait to try them. I love the ferals. B Cosmetics launched this new, it's called a Freak Show palette, I think. No, Family Palettes. No, Freak Show. I don't even know. I think it's called a Freak Show palette. Here it is over here. Let me see if there's a picture of just the palettes. Oh, here it is swatched. That's an interesting color store. Very cool toned across the board, but still colorful and intriguing. This up here, the two pale tones on either side of the black seems a little repetitive. Some of it seems a bit repetitive looking at it, but overall, I think it's an interesting color story. The repetitiveness and the cool toneness of the palette is just not for me. It's not, you know, calling my name. I'm not really into it. So it's not gonna be picking anything up. While I do think it is pretty, it's just not speaking to me. The lip products, I'm not really into the colorful lip products recently. I've been going mostly new except for today of course but anyway nice collection but I'm not gonna pick anything up okay this is a bit old news because it's from Mac and I feel like it came out a little while ago that I just missed sharing about it but this is the a new collection of theirs look at this highlighter can we please look at it holy smokes that is really really pretty I don't even know what that is supposed to be what is it supposed to be um let's see it's a collab oh it's a collab with la 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 Lisa M I don't know who that is okay Lisa and it's available in Asian markets Mac loves Lisa extra dimension skin finish yeah I'm assuming it's some type of flower it's very beautiful whatever it is it just it looks so stunning and like eye-catching the packaging itself is very basic, not like basic in a bad way. It's pretty, like the purple is pretty. It looks like it's probably either a textured feel to it or maybe sparkly feel to it, but it's still like very simple with just like the one color. I would have expected, I don't know, with a, you know, a highlighter like that, maybe some kind of like nature theme-esque picture or etching or something on the cover. But uh, anyway, um, the palette itself is an easy pass for me. I mean, the pa highlighter also, I don't plan to get it. I just like to talk about it in these videos because I think it's just so very pretty. But the palette, I don't know, nothing about it attracts me. It's just a very neutral palette and like so many of the shimmers look the same, like those two beiges this brown and that brown. I mean, this brown and this brown also look the same. So overall, it's an easy pass, but I just had to talk about it in this video because like that highlighter, that highlighter is pretty. All right, so that is gonna do it for this video. My camera battery is flashing, so hopefully I can do this outro without having to switch out the battery. But thank you guys so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video with me or to be in the live chat with me and watch this video if you missed the live chat. Thank you so much for your time. Any late breaking news are gonna be over here. If anything came out that I wanna comment on that I didn't get to talk about today, I put it over here and give you guys my short little information or my short little thoughts about it and we can talk about it later if I feel like talking about it. Or I could just mention it here and keep on moving because there's always, there's there's always new releases. I am never like bored when it comes to staying down and doing this video. Usually I have to like cut things out because there's just too much to cover if I tried to cover everything. But yeah, today was a pretty interesting video. I feel like for the most part there were so many launches and so many pals that I was like, yeah, I like that. I think that's neat, but I'm talking myself out of it. I don't need it. I'm going to talk myself out of it if I can. And I feel like for the most part I absolutely did, except for that that uh, Doodles by the Bunny palette. I don't know what it is yet, so I hate to say I'm definitely buying something when I don't know what the color story is. However, I see green green and I know Doodles by the Bunny so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be picking up that palette but we'll talk about it whenever it is finally launched or at least announced and we can see what the palette looks like and we can talk about it in the future will I buy it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys didn't mind the voice hopefully next week as I get back into like filming now that I'm over the sickness hopefully my voice continues to get better because I'm, I'm definitely very tired of sounding like I have a frog in my throat all the time but anyway that's going to do it for me thank you guys so very much for watching once again if you want to continue getting daily content from me I'm over on Instagram Instagram. I'm LadyKatie92 over there. And with all that said, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.